What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we are testing out some new Anastasia Beverly Hills products. We are testing out the Anastasia X Amrizi or Amrizi, I think it's Amrizi highlighter. Very talked about over the internet, Instagram, Twitter, all of the above. I am so, so excited to try this out today. With that, we have the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Before we even touch this eyeshadow palette, I have got to get some highlight on my face. I obviously have my base on. We have everything on, my foundation, concealer. We got some contour and bronzer, and all we are missing is some highlighter. So as you can see, it comes in this little box, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing over the top, I don't think. It's just a little black box. But here is the actual compact highlighter. It is very, very cute. It's got like a rose gold touch with black. I am loving this packaging. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can really tell like how beautiful this is, but I've never seen a hi highlighter like this. I got this like two days ago. I have not even touched this whatsoever. But we're going to touch it right now. <laughs> oh. You know, I thought, ooh, look at that. Yes. I thought it was going to be almost like maybe a Kylie Cosmetics wet set touch or a ColourPop super shock shadow you know that kind of has that little like bouncy velvety touch but it doesn't feel like that Let's swatch this on my arm I think I, I think I thought it was gonna be more blinding with a swatch hmm. first I need to put these hairs back I'm taking a wet n wild highlighting brush I've been using this pretty much every single day for my highlighter so we're just gonna dip into the product and I'm going to try this without wetting the brush just to see what it actually does. And, oh, do you see that? This is a beautiful highlight. However, I thought it was going to be more blinding. For this side, we're going to wet the brush just to see if there's a difference. Using MAC Fix Plus. Woo. So wetting the brush definitely gives you a more blinding effect. To be honest, you guys, I thought it was going to be more blinding than it actually is. I'm going to use a fan brush just to see if there's a difference with how it applies. Dipping in here. There's not really like any fallout whatsoever. There's that blinding effect that I love. Yes. I am liking it. I do like it. I do like it. Let's open up this soft glam palette. Comes with the little plastic thingy. Looks like this. Such pretty colors. Everyday colors. I do believe that you could create anything with this. Daytime looks. Super smoky. Nighttime club looks. Here's the brush that's in it. I think it's just like their normal brush that they put in all their palettes. You got a blender and then like a smudger. So we will definitely use this today. Let's get some eyeshadows on these eyes, shall we? I'm going to zoom us in a little bit. God, I don't even know what I want to do. We're dipping into orange soda for the transition and I'm going to try to use this brush that came with the palette for most of our shades. This brush seems kind of dense. Okay, that's a good transition shade. There is a little bit of fallout, but I think that's normal for the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. It's a cute shade. I'm pretty sure this is one of their existing shades. I don't know every single eyeshadow that Anastasia has, so I'm just guessing. Now we're gonna dip into Burnt Orange. A lot of fallout. 
We're basically just going to deepen up the transition, taking it into the crease as well. All right, so we're gonna go into Sienna. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna, woof, lots of fallout. I'm grabbing a different blender just because I feel like that brush is just way too dense, way too dense. Now what color do we use? I almost want to just take this sultry color and put that like all over my lid and then maybe just top it off with the bronze. A lot of product comes off on the finger. That's cute. Yes, yeah, soft glam. Mm hmm Taking the brush from the palette, I'm just gonna smooth it all out right here. And I'm just gonna get super crazy and dip into bronze with my finger. Tap that right on the center of the lid just to see what happens. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. We're gonna do some stuff on the lower lash line. So I'm dipping into orange soda to start with. Ooh, we have some fallout here. And this is why I usually always just do my eyeshadow first, but whatever. Now we're going into burnt orange, just like the top of the eye. Now I'm going to deepen up the lower lash line, I'm thinking do I use the exact same color or do I pick a different color? I'm gonna get even more crazy and we're gonna dip into Mulberry right here instead of the other color that we used for the top which was Sienna. Wow, major fallout right there. We need something in the inner corner. So we're going to use glistening, the champagne -y shimmer. I'm going to get some mascara on and we'll be right back. Okay guys, mascara is on. I actually ended up putting on some lashes. There are Dell. I forget the name of them. I used my Bad Gal Bang mascara. I have a full video testing this out. I will leave that link down below. Even though I thought that this highlighter was going to be more blinding than it is showing up today, I still really like it and I'm going to be using it probably quite often. Now for the soft glam palette, you know, it's a super pretty look. I think that I could literally create this look using any of the other eyeshadow palettes that I do have so it's not like oh I can't live without this palette I totally could live without this palette but I am excited to you know add it to my collection I do like the formulas of the shadows I think that they blend out really nicely together I do like how the shimmers look on my lid and even kind of not mixing them together but putting one on top of each other it doesn't look too chunky or anything like that it's a super soft glam look i i guess that's what i would call it how funny is that huh <laughs> it's just another palette in the books now how many of you guys out there already got this palette? How many of you are thinking about getting the palette? Leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Anastasia Beverly Hills trying new products video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, I'm totally like digging into the shadow.